Okay, we're going to start learning about if statements, and I've got some start code again. I'll put the link in the description of the video. So I'm going to use this template. Got my fake student account. We're doing a Kung Fu Panda search, which is going to be our demo. And we will copy that repository onto our own GitHub account. You guys should be getting familiar with the, the start code stuff. I'm going to open with GitHub Desktop or do file um, or in, yeah, in GitHub Desktop, do the clone thing. And I should put it into the right spot, I think, on the desk. Oh, where did I put that again? Oh, no, it was under F Drive CS10 folder. Okay, then, so yeah, I didn't do the select folder, but I want to call it this. I'll say select F Drive CS10 Kung Fu Panda Search. Okay, good. So we clone that. And yeah, we're going to learn about if statements. And the big thing here is we're just going to get input from the user in terms of the name of the character they want to look for. And then we're going to update our page to represent that character. Now let's just let me get that bigger for you here. And main.js, I've just got the event listener working here, some basic styles. Well, I jazz things up a little bit, but we did those styles before. And a whole bunch of images for different characters. So let's go live here, see what this looks like. Okay, good. So we should be familiar with this from earlier, um, building the HTML for this, if we did that together. Um, and now what I want to do is actually implement the JavaScript part. So the search button works, right? Every time I click it, we're just console. In the console, we're just saying search. Okay. So now let's start by getting the value of this input element. So I'm just going to drag this so these are closer together. Okay. Um, what do I want here? Here's the input element. Let's give it an ID. ID, um, let's call it char in, character in, character input, something like that. Um, we'll save that. And in our JavaScript now, in here, I can go, we'll call this our input section. Let name be assigned document dot get element by ID character in and we want dot value right we want to get the value of the input element and now I'm going to just console dot log whatever is inside a name so save that make sure we save this to the little dots give us that indicator that there's something unsaved oh and I had an s there control s to save it okay that should hopefully work I'll type in you know tigress Yay, and then I'll type in mantis, or close enough, mantis, there we go. Okay, so we've got the event listener, we've got the input, now we're going to do our if statement. Okay, so an, our if statement, we're going to basically test the input, right? What input did they type in, and based on what they typed in, I'm going to do something. So... To start off with, let's just do some console.logs and just focus on the if statements. We're, we're going to make the page update so that the picture will change, the heading will change, the quote will change, all that stuff. But for now, let's just make sure the if statements work with simple console.logs. All right, so how do we make an if statement? So code usually runs top to bottom, right? It's sequential. Do this line, do this line, do this line, do this line. What if I want to do a branch? I want to do something. If this is true, otherwise I want to do this. Okay, so we can select things. So to do that, we do an if statement. We just use the keyword if, followed by parentheses, and then a brace, a set of braces like that. And basically, all it's saying is kind of similar to a function, right? Function, name of the function, parentheses, braces. Um, these braces are always used for a block of code, right? So here's a block of code. Basically, it just means if something is true, do what's between this block of code. So we'll say console.log. Um, well, let's do our test first so we know what to print out. Let's say I want to check for um, for Poe. Okay, so I'll check the variable name. And basically, I want what's inside of this, this these parentheses here has to evaluate true or false. And to do that, we need a Boolean expression. A Boolean. Oh, there is a Boolean expression like this. Anyway. Boolean expressions return to true or false. So if I say um, one is considered true and zero is considered false, okay, ones and zeros, true and false. Um, and basically what I can do is we can do comparison operators, right? So I can do something like, uh, well, I should have name, 
right now name is empty. But if I have the variable name, oh, why is name empty? Oh, because it's, I don't know what I'm doing. Forget that. Let's create a variable called test and assign it to be high. And I can now go test is equal to high. And the, this triple equals is checking for equality. It's a comparison operator, right? This is the, the single equal sign is the assignment operator. It says create a variable and assign it to be this value. The triple equals is the comparison operator. Does what's inside of this variable equal what's with this string? And it returns true or false. If I did test is equal to by, it returns false. Okay, you can also go not equal to by. Yes, test does not equal by, that's true. Test does not equal high is false. So triple equals is equality, and an exclamation mark double equals is inequality. Are these not equal to each other? Okay. And we can put expressions like that inside of here. This is where I have name. And I want to check if name is equal to triple equals um, Poe. And if it is, I'll just say, yes, Poe is a Kung Fu Panda character. Yay. Okay, so we'll save that. Let's go back to here. I'll type in Poe. Search. Yes, Poe is a Kung Fu Panda character. Awesome. If I type in anything else, nothing happens. It's only if I type in po, it'll print that out. Cool. Even if I type in like a lowercase, that won't work because it does exact matching, right? Lowercase p and then o is different than capital or uppercase p and then o. Okay, so that's, that's the basics. If this is true, do this. If it's not true, it won't do anything. But we can simply add, after this block of code for the if statement, we can add an else. And that basically says, if name is Poe, do this. Otherwise, right, else, do whatever is here. So we'll do a console.log, and I'll just say, you know, you didn't type Poe. <laughs> okay, let's try that. So we'll type something else. You didn't type Poe. If I type Poe, yes, Poe is a Kung Fu Panda char character. You didn't type Poe. So, the, the else catches everything else, right? If I do anything besides po, it'll go to that, that else, right? Even that lowercase, right? You didn't type po. Okay, so this is called a binary if statement. Binary just means two, double, right? Bicycle. Uh, so you can choose between two paths. If this is true, do this, else do this. All right, we can also make something called a chained selection statement where we add all sorts of stuff um, to to this, we can do as many as we want, but we can add an else if we do another set of parentheses so that we can do another test. And I'll check if name is equal to Tigris. And if it is Tigris, I'll say, yes, Tigris is a Kung Fu Panda character. Oh, too, too many things. Okay. And let's run this now. So Poe or Tigris are my two valid options. Let's test that. I go Poe. Great. Tigris. Great. And if I do anything else, it does nothing. Because this wasn't true, and this wasn't true, and then there's no other code left. So it doesn't do anything. If we wanted to do something, we could add that else again. Console.log, and I'll just put a question mark. Okay, so now we've got the three options. If I do something else, now it runs that else. If I do po, it runs that po section. Right, we just we just have these different blocks of code that we're selecting. Do I want to want to run this? Do I want to run this? And do I want to run this? Okay. And if I wanted to add something else, well, guess what? I'm going to copy and paste this else if here, and we can add another mantis. And we'll go Mantis. And if I wanted to do more, so chain selection statements are always three or more, right? We had Poe, Tigris, and then the else, um, but you can always add more. Um, what else do we have? Tigris, monkey. Monkey, like so. Okay, try that out. Mantis. Yes, Mantis is. And then we'll try monkey. 
Yes, monkey is a Kung Fu Panda character. Po. Okay, so we now have this, this ability to select what code to run. Okay, so equality, right? Checking for equality versus assignment. Make sure you, students always make the, the, the mistake here. So when you want to compare things, use the triple equals for comparison, and that evaluates a true or false. Um, and then we had the, the single if statement, we had a binary if statement, we got this chained if statement. Um, that's pretty cool. That's a good introduction into if statements. We'll do more in the next video.